Hey folks, a warm day across the valley today. We kept the clouds in. Without that, we'd have been probably at least five degrees warmer, but the clouds stuck around and kept temperatures in the mid 80s rather than upper 80s to 90. Not too many complaints about that. 73 at the beach right now, 77 Port Isabel, Brownsville, 76, but everybody else 80 plus. And overnight tonight, it's still a mild night. Upper 60s across the area. The beach bottoms out at 71, so a rather warm night for this time of year. And then tomorrow, we should climb back in the 70s in most areas, but that's probably in the morning. I think that front right now, models are all over the place on when it's coming in, but we're going for mid morning. So we climb into the 70s and then temperatures drop into the 60s after the front, probably by lunchtime and then stay there for most of the afternoon. we we'll start out of the south and then come out of the north as the day goes on. So if you look at your highs, that 76 tomorrow's early temperatures will drop during the afternoon. So we start above average, but then cool off. Take a jacket with you in the morning, even if it doesn't feel like you need it first thing of the day. Then Thursday, we rebound only 69 with a fair amount of sunshine and Friday right back up to 80 or so. So for us, a short lived cool down and it just gets us down closer to normal for just a little while. Cloud cover wise, it's been thick today. A lot of high clouds streaming across from the southwest and they're not going anywhere for a while. Temperatures stay mild overnight. Then we start the day with clouds early. The front knocking on the door, a mild start to the day. But by the time we get to lunchtime, that front should be pushing through and behind it. Cooler air will build in and be with us for the afternoon. Models suggest maybe an evening or late night shower as a little upward disturbance goes by to the north. We don't expect much. There could be something with the front in the morning and then a spotty shower overnight tomorrow night, but by Thursday, it's all out of here. It's a sunny and cool day across the region. Again, highs only in the upper 60s on Thursday, and then Friday, we bounce right back again. So your rain chance is only 10 to 20% tomorrow into tomorrow night, and then we're dry after that. And the way things have been going, that 10 to 20% might be optimistic. Look at the rest of South Texas right now. 77 San Antonio, 77 in Victoria, but push back. Austin is only 67. It's only 29 in Lubbock, and it's messy up there. There's snow in the panhandle. All that's going to shift eastward. There you see it. As we go into tomorrow, look at this mess across Texas for the morning commute from Wichita Falls back to Midland into West Texas. Snow. Looks like Dallas is going to be mainly rain, maybe a little sleet mixed in, but probably not a lot of snow in the Dallas area. Oklahoma will see a lot, but for us, front comes in, we turn cooler, high pressure builds in, eventually pushes off to the east. The next front in the middle of Texas doesn't look like it'll have a huge impact over us. Travel plans tomorrow, cool in Texas, 44 in San Antonio, but look back here, snow. Amarillo 17, Midland 26 by afternoon. Doesn't warm up much in that part of the state. We will cool off a bit tonight, but not a lot. 66 with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Then tomorrow, our high temperature will be in the morning. Temperatures will fall during the afternoon as the winds turn around and come from the north. By afternoon, we should see at least a little bit of brightening in the sky, maybe even a little bit of sunshine. Thursday looks nice, but rather cool. Friday, a lot of sunshine, 80 for a high. If you look at the weekend in the low 80s all the way through the weekend, clouds come back on Sunday, maybe even some spotty drizzle. That's your updated First Horn 5 AccuWeather Forecast.